farming has been a central part of America since its founding. In the 19th century, homesteaders settled the American West. Today, America boasts 900 million acres of farmland, according to the USDA. That's 40% of our land. And our farms provide food across the world. In 2021, the government says U.S. farmers exported $177 billion in products like soybeans, corn, beef, and pork. According to the Department of Agriculture, American citizens own 97% of privately held farmland and forest in the United States. Some say U.S. farms are a global asset that should be shared. Bloomberg columnist Adam Minter wrote this in August. Food security is enhanced by outsiders who seek economic opportunity in farm country. They should be welcomed. Recently, though, the 3% of farmland owned by foreigners has attracted controversy, specifically a focus on China. Lacking farmland, China has struggled to secure food for its 1.4 billion citizens. Just recently, in August, four Chinese government departments warned a drought posed a severe threat to the autumn harvest. That has driven overseas investments in food, including the purchase of Virginia-based pork producer Smithfield Foods and partnership with Growmark, a grain logistics firm. Chinese companies own about a fifth of 1% of American agricultural land per USDA data. But some lawmakers say Chinese firms shouldn't own American farmland at all. America cannot allow China to control our food supply. And the president and the Congress should end all farm subsidies for land owned by foreign nationals. In a July letter to the Agriculture Department, 19 Republican lawmakers said China commits intellectual property theft and has been prosecuted for attempting to steal U.S. seed DNA information. Various congressional bills seek to bar Chinese ownership of farmland. This amendment would prohibit the purchase of agricultural land in the United States by companies from China, Russia, North Korea, or Iran. The People's Republic of China is only interested in reaping every possible benefit from U.S. land without giving back or considering our future. Fourteen states limit in some way the foreign ownership of farmland, according to the National Agricultural Law Center. But in Grand Forks, North Dakota, the issue has recently brought national attention and controversy. In the fall of 2021, the city proudly announced the sale of land to a Chinese-owned conglomerate, Fufeng USA. Fufeng USA chose Grand Forks as their flagship location for a wet corn mill. This will be the largest single private investment in the history of our region. When I think of the value that Fufang brings to the industry, to our region, I think of a few things. Success as a community in the future, population stability and growth, great jobs. Not every day does a, almost a billion dollar facility want to be built into your community. The North Dakota Corn Growers Association said they were excited about the project, but local opposition has been strong. Your people are bringing, want to bring communist China to Grand Forks. The corn mill will sit about 15 miles from an Air Force base. On cable channels, including Fox News, politicians have raised concerns about espionage. Let me tell you what's going on in these Air Force bases. Uh, number one, the one in, in North Dakota has some of our most sensitive drone and space technology that connects our space assets to our drones. Uh, so to intercept that from a few miles away, isn't that hard? In July, politicians requested that the Federal Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States investigate the sale. The committee is now looking into the purchase. The company and city officials, meanwhile, say the plant is not a national security threat. Fufeng USA's chief operating officer, Eric Chuterash, told reporters in March, quote, I know we're not going to be asked to be collecting any intelligence on Grand Forks Air Force Base. The workers in the plant will be Americans. I can't imagine anybody in the facility would participate in that. But while the federal inquiry is underway, some construction steps will stay on paper for now. James Packard, Newsy.